Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowlands and today I have a layout to share for Go Go Shop Away um, and I am using the very beautiful Stardust collection by Jen Hadfield. Um, so this collection is a little bit different for Jen Hadfield, definitely different to what we're used to and is full of bright happy colours um, and um, is just great fun to use really. So um, I'm really enjoying playing with it. Um, I decided to um, go for a circular design um, for this layout so I've Use a pair of compasses and a pencil to draw a large circle in the middle of a white background. And I'm planning to um, back this um, with the balloon paper. So um, I have photos of my little boy when he turned four um, in the summer. And um, I thought that um, this balloon paper was perfect to use um, for those, um, those photos. Um, so um, yeah, so I've cut a big circle in the middle and um, I'm just, I've distressed the edges slightly and then on the back of the layout, I'm just adding some foam pads, um, obviously gonna peel them all off. Um, and then I'm just going to put the balloon paper um, behind it, um, which will give me like a bit of an aperture in the middle. Um, and the foam pads just mean that um, I have a bit of texture and dimension there. It's a kind of like raised. It feels that the balloons have sunk back. Um, there we go, just adding that there. Um, and I'm gonna just stick down the edges as well um, because yeah, it, there we go. I could have cut out a circle and tried to preserve some more of the print, but um, I decided against that. The stamps print on the other side is, um, is a little busy. Um, so, I'm oh, sorry, just doing my tape runner there. Um, <laughs> um, it's, do, do you think it's really annoying when it runs out part way through a layout or I barely even started the layout and it's run out? So, um, very annoying. Right, so anyway, um, I've now, um, now that I've stuck that down, I've decided that this, um, the circle aperture needed some pom poms. Um, and um, uh, anyway, I should have realised that I wanted to do that before sticking it all down, but I didn't. So now I've got to somehow poke it all in. So it's a little bit um, more tricky than if I had planned this out in advance and thought about using pom-poms in advance, but I um, didn't do that. So we just have to, you know, live with these things, don't we, and, uh, and do the best we can. So, <laughs> so I'm adding, um, I'm trying to add my ATG tape to the pom-poms themselves, which is a little tricky and I'm getting my fingers and thumbs stuck to it all, all over the place, but it does just about work. Um, the only problem is then I have this long trail with um, that's sticky, so it can very easily get tangled and stuck to things that it shouldn't do, etc. However, this is working really well and I'm managing to poke that in. I think obviously I have the gaps, um, I have the gap there from the foam pads, so it's quite easy to poke in. Um, I actually worked my paper piercing tool to poke it in, in the end rather than my fingernails because I was getting myself into um, a bit of a sticky situation. Um, so um, the paper piercing tool works really well just to poke that underneath. Um, and uh, yeah, and there we go, all the way around. Um, there's obviously a little join, but that's going to go underneath something, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, I think that was just that just kind of finishes that off and um, gives it a bit of a border. I do love a border, um, and um, I'm I'm really happy with how that is looking. So there's my photo. It's of my little boy holding up his fingers to show me how old he is. So he's holding up four fingers, and he's saying to me, "This many, this many." Um, so um, really super cute, and uh, <clears throat> I wanted to document that because uh, he was so. He's just. It's just that, that lovely age where he now gets it um, and he's now so excited about his birthday um, and Christmas um, and uh, all those kind of things. He just understands everything now, whereas, you know, a year and a half ago, he didn't really. So, um, I mean, even on his third birthday, I think he was excited on his birthday, but I don't think he really understood it, whereas now he does. So, um, yeah, really, really cute. I love to see him grow and develop into this little character that he really, really is. Um, so anyway, yeah, there he is sitting on the floor. Hasn't opened his presents yet because I've made him do photos first. Um, and he's big grin on his face, holding up his fingers, telling me he's this many, which is super cute. So anyway, yep, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So I am putting out all of the birthday things I can find. Now, this is not a birthday collection by any means, but it does have some balloons. Obviously, balloons can be used for many other things apart from birthdays. They can be used to celebrate all sorts of things. Um, 
and they can just be for decorations. They don't have to necessarily be for celebrations, but they often are. Um, so, um, so yeah, I found the journaling card that's got balloons on it that says, oh, happy day. Um, and um, I've got um, a uh, foam frame that I've just stuck behind as a layer. Um, I've mounted my photo onto a journaling card in the kind of like mustardy colour. Um, I'm pulling my colours that I'm using obviously through from the balloon print paper. Um, it's got uh, kind of like a mustardy colour, the red, the pink, a green and a blue. Um, so it's got quite a few colours in it um, and uh, I'm just trying to make sure that the embellishments I pull out um, from the rest of this collection um, are in the right colours. Um, so it means quite a lot to choose from there. So it's not too hard. Um, so I'm just going to make obviously a big cluster at the bottom left of the layout because that's going to be my photo cluster. And then I'm going to make another smaller cluster up at the top right. Um, so, so far I've added some um, ephemera pieces. Um, the ephemera is really pretty. It's got some silver foiled pieces in there. Um, so, and I love anything that sparkles. So, um, happy days for me um and uh, i've got a stamp up there a piece of ephemera i've got just added that foam sticker which is like a, a, a wall hanging um and then i've got some flowers in there as well um so um yeah that's all looking um lovely i'm really happy with how it looks um i've just pulled out some stamps one says celebrate so that works really well um, and then um, those flowers, so I'm just tucking in um, and sticking everything down at the same time. Lots of these things are stickers, so they're already stuck. But um, I would like to give, even if I'm using flat stickers, I like to give some things in, uh, some dimension. So quite often I raise stickers up on foam pads as well. Um, same for um, ephemera. I usually attach those with foam pads. Um, so, yeah, I'm just... Um, adding and adding and adding um, bits and pieces here and there, just continuing to build up my clusters, anything that kind of works um, and is the right colour. Um, I love that little rainbow. Um, I don't think he makes it onto the layout in the end, that rainbow, but um, uh, I've got a couple of hearts, bottom left, um, and then I've got um, some stars and I've just added that little speech bubble. It's a foam speech bubble that says, I love it, um, which I do, and so does he. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I say, I'm just continuing to build and build and build um, and seeing what else I've got in the collection to use. So I've got these layered stickers. Um, I decided to um, stick the balloon layered stickers on top of the balloons that were on the journaling card. That just gives them extra dimension, which I love. So that works well for me. Um, the layer stickers are really beautiful. Um, there's, uh, they're like almost, do you remember like decoupage? Um, they remind me a bit of that, but just nicer. Um, and, uh, um, they just give a lot of extra dimension. So it's like, for the example, the balloons, um, some of them are flat, but some of them are raised, um, on foam pads. They have the extra layer there. So it, it's just, they're just nice. I think the dimensional stickers, um, to add extra dimension, um, that's the whole point of them, I suppose, but um, I really, really rate them. Um, and then um, I'm just going to continue adding bits and pieces. I've got the word celebration that I've just added at the top of the photo. Um, and the little banner stickers I've got there as well. Um, and um, I'm just wondering whether I can add a rosette, but actually I decided against that in the end, I'm going to use those on a different layout. Um, and, uh, and then I'm going to... Um, uh, add some stars, little bits and pieces. I like to have lots of different styles of um, embellishments. So rather than um, have everything big, I like to have some things big, some things small. Um, I like to go for a whole range of different sizes um, to give that dimension. Um, just, um, I am just now writing my journaling and I'm going around the outside edge of the circle. Um, I'm using a grey journaling pen and I'm writing all the way around. So um, I have quite small writing, so that works well. But um, lots of people ask me how on earth do I make sure that I've got enough journaling or um, I've got the perfect amount of journaling to fit in the space. Um, the answer is I, I don't. I just go for it and then if it goes wrong, then I figure it out. So <laughs> just be brave. So I've just added um, some uh, splatters of silver paint 
um, and then once that was dry I'm then coming back to add in some sequins um, so I just I forgot you know sometimes I forget to add things before I do my paint splatters and then I think oh for goodness sake haven't I been scrapbooking long enough to remember that I need to add everything before I finish um, and add the paint um, but no I seem to do it a lot um, so I had to wait for the paint to dry and then now I need to add the sequins so I'm just um, getting those stuck in place now um, Spiegel Mum scraps always my favorite um, and uh, I've just sprinkled a load of those on uh, on those around those two clusters um i think they give a lot of extra pretty sparkle and to say like i said i like to have a varying sizes of embellishment so these are obviously the really tiny things um that i like to have um in place and obviously the paint splatters as well work in the same kind of way um so that's all coming together quite nicely and then i've got um my thickers um these are the um stardust thickers they are pink foam with glitter um, topping very pretty and I'm gonna write this many now I kind of wish that um, I had mounted this onto white first so that it was more visible um, I could have done it on the white but then then it wouldn't have been within the um, within the circle so it wouldn't have looked as good um, but it's quite difficult to read over the balloons it's easier in person than it is on a screen like this but um, I thought I would try and rectify that by drawing it around the edge in um, black journaling pen which has made it better but it's still not um perfect but it definitely does make it stand out a bit better so um if my journaling pen had been a bit thicker that probably would have helped um because it's a very very thin narrow 0.1 journaling pen so <laughs> it's really a tiny line um but um it definitely does help a lot um but say it would have been even better if it had been on too white um cardstock instead um but this was definitely a good little um hack if you like um, and then now I'm just going to add some Bramble Fox embellishments so I've got the word celebrate that I'm going to pop right in the middle of the um, balloons there um, and then I've got some cupcakes as well and um, my boy certainly loves cake I think it's his favorite thing in the world to ask to eat to eat yeah <laughs> every day before breakfast and we have cake now I'm like no we can't have cake before breakfast um, <laughs> but you seem to think you can um, and um, yes, yeah, so I'm just getting those little cupcakes stuck in place. Um, I've had these in my stash for a while, so it's nice that um, those are getting used and the colorway is perfect. So I don't know why my screen is flashing. Um, that's happened a few times and I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. So sorry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, all um, done, all finished. Um, I'm really happy with how this layout turned out. Um, and um, yeah, that one is complete. Very, very cute. Love the balloons in the background. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing how this layout came together. Um, and uh, the Stardust collection is really, very really beautiful. So do make sure you check it out at Go Go Shop Away. Um, so yeah, that was um, Nikki Rowland for Go Go Shop Away using Jen Hadfield Stardust collection.